perfect. What's going on, beautiful people? Um, I have an amazing video for you guys. Something that's been in the works for a long time. Um, I wanted to give you guys as much honesty as possible, as much authenticity as possible. And then of course, I wanted to show you the whole lineup of this unboxing. So let's get straight into the video. Um, today I'm doing a unboxing for um, GenderCat, which is a line of prosthetics for trans men. Um, but also for trans women. There's some items that they have online for trans women as well. I was given the opportunity to begin my review for this company um, around, I wanna say early October. Um, so what I love about, and let, let, me, let, me, let me get this straight, let me get this straight so you guys can like decide whether or not you wanna tune in, tune out. But like I said, authenticity, um, this is not a paid sponsorship. Um, I am an affiliate because I was like, um, off of my first, um, experience with the product, um, one of the prosthetics and I can show you this one actually right now, this right here, I, I, I fell in love with it because as you guys know, I have another, uh, review on my channel for a pack and play, I believe it was, and I just, it wasn't hitting where it needed to hit, you know, it wasn't doing the job I needed it to do. Um, and that really bummed me out. As a trans man, you know, you want to have your pleasure. You want to have, you know, that confidence, that validation, that, you know, all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> so when I had bought, like, I want to say it was like two or three different prosthetics um, just to try out with my significant other, um, I... I didn't feel that sense of validation. I didn't feel the pleasure. I didn't feel, um, you know, that full 100. Now I'm not saying, I'm not knocking them completely. I'm not saying like they're bad choices. I just knew that when I took the leap of faith with this product, I was pleasantly surprised very much. Um, I ended up doing a lot of uh, research just to find out what other trans men were having success with and this brand just kept coming up. So let me show you real quick. This was my starter uh, prosthetic with this company. Uh, this is the um, product that led me to reach out and be like, wait a second, let me try a couple more of your products. Um, I'll make a YouTube video giving my honest opinion and we'll move forward from there. And they were delighted that I reached out. Um, in fact, they were <laughs> they were like, oh yeah, they're, they're really kind. Um, this is a trans owned company as well, um, if that gives you any points. Um, they were very kind to me. Um, I, I cannot even explain the how, how friendly he is. Um, but yeah, so what I love about this company and the products that they have, um, especially the pack and play or pack or just play um, prosthetics that I've been using from them they have a they have an extensive line of color options I believe it's about over 200 color options um, so this actual prosthetic right here and the ones that I have um, it's a mixture of three different colors um, one for like the base the phallus, the tip, you know, all that in the bag of chips. I hope I'm using the right terminologies because, boy, I just be coming out of the womb and just saying words. But, yeah, so I chose a very um, particular color for the tip as well as the actual shaft and everything. And I, if I, I don't have the color um, swatches with me anymore um, just because I found what colors work good with me and I just stuck to it. Um, but yeah, um, so, the, so alongside the extensive colors that they offer, they also have, um, no, I believe it's no interest payment plans. Um, and if you want, let's say you want to have the prosthetic, you do not have to pay all of the monthly plan or the weekly plan or what the plan is that you customize they have customizable ones um you don't have to pay it before it ships you get 
So that is pretty wonderful for me and um, my opinion. I think that helps out a lot of trans people, a lot of underrepresented people, uh, and a lot of low income people. So me being of all. <laughs> so this again was amazing. They also offer something called amaze balls. Um, it's like a more realistic. Now this one doesn't have amaze balls, but I will show you one that does. Um, I'm just using this one as reference. This is like their regular sack. Um, I actually really enjoy it um, just because the material is like really soft. Um, it's just nice. It's, I mean, I know I'm just like raw dogging right now. This is kind of crazy. Uh, but <laughs> this overall like 10 out of 10, honestly. Um, let me show you one real quick that has the amaze balls. So this is the first one I got, you know, on my own accord. I was like, let me just try this brand out. Now, after speaking with my significant other and much deliberation, we decided to go for this one. Um, like I said, this is like the same color scheme, I believe. Yeah, same color scheme. So this one's called Four Rails. It's the girthy option. It also is included in that 200 uh, skin tone color plus selection. Um, this is seven inches and I bought it with the Amaze Balls. So if you can already tell, there's a difference. You can actually see, like, you can isolate the balls. And like, it has more of like, distress look to it. Um, even from the back, there's more like that. Um, and what separates Gender Cat from a lot of other prosthetics that I've used is this, I'm gonna show you on this one because this one's a little dirty and I don't want to uh, think I'm dirty. But if you can, so they have this adhesive, right? Where the other options that I had um, reviewed or utilized, they didn't have this adhesive. Um, it's really easy to swap out the adhesive and everything like that. So no worries there. So I also cut this plastic film to like fit exactly over the adhesive. So I can just put it back on, you know, swap it off, swap it on just as a, preservation manner, but let's see if I, let me show you. once I take, ooh, once I take off the plastic, right? You see this hole. Like I said, this hole isn't the best because I did it, but um, you, you get what I'm saying? Whereas this one has more of a, more, yeah, that's dirty, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna cut that off. Um, that's all, but I did it, but there's that hole. That is where your chunk is going. Now, this one's a little small for me, but I make it work. <laughs> Um, and you can choose what size holes you want. So I believe they have like, ooh, like they have one inch, um, half an inch, and I wanna say maybe a third of an inch or so. So depending on your growth, your size, that's how you're gonna determine what's the best sizing for you to choose. I'll put all the little nuances in the description or I'll put it on the sidebar comments and stuff like that, but yeah, overall, I put my thing in there. You know, you can use this with or without a harness. That is the beautiful piece. Me, I go hard. <laughs> I go hard on the paint, so I always gonna need my harness. That's just what it is. Um, if I really wanted to, I could also not use the harness though. Um, I just prefer to wear it out of security. Um, but even still, when there's, there's a good sense of recoil, you know, so. And, and what I mean by that is, like I said, this is adhesive. So as an example, I put it on, I only put the bottom half of my palm, but when I put it on, it's, it's stuck, it's stuck. Now imagine your, your, your wiggy inside there, right? And then, you know, with the adhesive on top of that, like it's, it's secure, it's good. And then of course, I'm not, this is not sex ed or nothing like that. Uh, maybe we can call this a crash course of sex ed with trans man, Rosaya, but you know, and then you got the little, you know, whatever you choose to put yourself in, you know what I'm saying? You know, boom, 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 one thing and another type, right? And, and of course the, the balls 
however you choose to have them. Now the maze balls is extra because it is it's a it's a it's a it's a unique feature. It's a unique thing. Um, the feeling is definitely amazing. That it gives you a better sense of that validation, depending on how you how much you care to go for that. Um, you know, more to the authenticity sector. Um, between this one and this one, they're practically very similar. Only difference is this one's a little bit girthier, a little bit longer. Um, I use this one more often. Um, I haven't used this one as often since I've gotten this one. So I was gonna say you feel more weight, obviously, when you're doing your thing, but they're both valid, both amazing. 10 out of 10. I like what you guys need to understand for me in this product is that I have no complaints. The only complaints I have is not in regards to the actual business, not regards to the actual product. Like I personally don't wanna, like if I wanna be in the mood and da 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 da, I don't wanna, you know, get up and throw a prosthetic on. That ain't on the business. That's on, that, you know, you know what I mean? That's on the circumstances that I'm living in. But it's not the end of the world. You know, I'm very blessed to have these options, you know, in the midst of me going towards my journey of <clears throat> um, phalloplasty. This is a great option in the between time. Um, and just again, so you can get an idea of the actual length between the two. And like I said, this is also girth. So I'm gonna put the seven inch girth one right here and the five something right there. I'm gonna put it, gonna put it balls to balls. Right, boom. So those are those two. Um, and again, if we want more in-depth videos regarding these two, um, or any of these, um, just let me know and I'll definitely provide that. So, moving on, because I got a couple of things. And like I said, um, it has adhesion to it. Made the hole and stuff like that. Um, I, this, is, this is an amazing job. Um, they give you the ability to um, have them pre-do the initial adhesion. And then from there you can buy um, consistent um, adhesion packs. Um, and it gives you everything that you need. So this is the actual um, adhesion tools. I just wanna crack this open real quick so you guys can get an idea. And everything that you would ever need to know is also on their own YouTube channel. Um, and I believe also on the site. Like they're really thorough. Like. Ooh, and they're responsive. Like I cannot say more about this company. So they give you a set of instructions on a paper that they also, I have the paper upstairs, um, but they give you a set of instructions on how to do it. Like I said, they have the YouTube videos. Um, they give you these syringes. And then like I said, the, the adhesion strips. Okay. And me and my uh, significant other, we did it together and she loved it just because it was like a little arts and crafts, uh, arts and crafts situation. So, you know, that, that's, that's real love, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I digress, let's keep it going. A packer like this. And I also customized it to my skin as well. And I know it looks a little different on camera. Um, and that's, that's why I don't wanna show you the swatches also. They're really big on not showing the swatches on camera or, you know, they, they send you all the 200 um, colors to, to your house, to your apartment, to your dorm, whatever. They send it to you because they really want you to not mess up and choose the exact colors that you want. I believe this one's like three and a half inches or so again i put the correct measurements later um this one also has the amaze balls with with the packers and with the play prosthetics you have the options of choosing like the actual density of the packer so this one i went soft so it's it's about the same feeling as what the balls were for the first prosthetic that i had so the whole the whole thing 
feels like that material. And like I said, this is really comfortable. Like, don't mess around with me now. It's really comfortable. This got the maze balls to it as well. Again, maze balls are extra, um, but it's that nice commodity that, you know, you can't go back from. But if you can't afford it, you, you know, it does not make or break the product for me. It does not. Um, I'm cool with either one. I'm not someone that cares too much about balls and that such, you know. But yeah, so. Yeah, like this. Also, one thing to note, if you feel like this base part is too big, you can cut it to whatever way you want that you best see fit. Um, I usually leave it as this big base just because when it comes to the adhesion, um, how much real estate would you rather have of adhesion to adhere to your body? Me, I want as much adhesion as possible. So I slap this whole thing on me because imagine, you know? Um, but I can imagine with a packer, you might want a little bit less just because it's already gonna stay in your undies, it's gonna stay in your pants. So it's not like it needs that same sense of, you know, as if I'm doing something crazy with it. Um, this one obviously does not have that hole because again, it's a packer. It's just meant to be pressed up against you and then stay with you for that day to day um, or part of the day type of uh, usage. Whereas of course this one has that hole because you're inserted yourself and you're, getting, you're going downtown, you know what I'm saying? I'm not someone that packs. Um, I never felt the need to. Um, nevertheless, I do understand that a lot of, like a big amount of the community loves to pack. I just never had that same sense of dysphoria when it came to packing. I just feel like, cause I'm a smaller dude, um, a lot of the pants that I wear automatically has a bulge. <laughs> like, as embarrassing as that is and how that sounds, that's my only reasoning. Um, nevertheless, um, putting this in your pants feels like almost nothing. Um, I love this. It's just a real convenient thing. Um, but just for me, it's not, it's not my ride or die, like the way how this is my ride or die. Moving on. We have this right here. This, all right. What do y'all, what do y'all think this is? This is a fascination sleeve. This fascination sleeve, as you can tell, is on par with all my other, well, it's a little bit off, but it's on par with all the other colors. This fascination sleeve, you actually, and with any of the um, products where you can insert yourself in, you have the option of different um, textures. And this is for self-play. I mean, you're gonna have a partner to help you play with this, but you know, the intention is like self-play type. Um, so they have like a more of a circly texture or they have this texture right here and don't actually open up the way that I am. I'm only doing that just to show you, but, or this one, I'm more familiar with that texture. Um, I used to have another fascination sleeve from a different company years back. Um, but fascination sleeves are really basic. <laughs> um, like I used to have the book off. Um, I used to have, it was like, I think it was the blue pill or something like that. And I had a knockoff of that. So all of them were very basic, just like an oval, small, and this is, this is jer jerking off guys. So I had that. And, you know, I mean, it wasn't cute. Not to say this is cute, cute, but this is definitely a lot better. This is a step in the right direction. Um, and once again, they pretty much have my, my color. So you just put this over your wiggy, like so. Um, put some lube in, um, that's my preference. Um, and the great thing about these um, insert hole parts that they have a gender cat is that especially when you use lube of course it's gonna create that suction so if you jack it oh damn i'm gonna break my finger yeah because the, the suction's strong so you put your, your wiggy in i want to my finger you put your wiggy in get that suction going 
and boy like i'm not even like guys in case the suction is too strong i believe this is what the intention of this item is yeah i actually have the write up right here because like i said with like almost everything they give you a write-up with it and i love that detail yeah, so congratulations on your prosthetic with fascination sleeve. Please take time to read the fascination sleeve instructions for your safe and enjoyable use, which are also included in your package. Um, we included it in sleeve insert for your convenience, which fits inside the fascination sleeve. This can serve for several pur purposes. It can eliminate the sleeve if desired. So if you, did, if you didn't want to utilize the sleeve, and this can go for, um, this as well like just putting yourself in here if you don't want to use it if you don't you don't like this because again this is optional that part's optional um if you don't want it you can throw this insert in there and it eliminates this entirely um and i'm gonna show you what it looks like in a second guys i know y'all in the head of your seats um you may also adjust the depth of your sleeve there's some reasons why you might adjust adjust the depth uh suction may be too much they never know there is never enough suction for me. Uh, your sleeve may extend into a softer part of your prosthetic, causing some undesirable indents when the sleeve is engaged. I haven't had that issue. Um, and you may find that the sleeve causes prosthetic collapse when engaging in play. I haven't had to deal with that either. So, you know, I, I this is probably the first time this insert going to see the light of day. <laughs> Um, and lastly, you can cut the insert to your desired length and insert it all the way to the bottom of your sleeve to alleviate any of these issues. And then it also says at the bottom, if you have any issues with this process or need a new insert, please don't hesitate to contact us. And then it's the company. There you go. So let me show you what the insert looks like. So this is the insert. It's basically, well, mine is the same exact color of my prosthetic so boom like it's the details man like this is a company that actually cares this company cares man i can't say enough about that um so again if you didn't want this sleeve you just insert this inside all the way um i i have inserted it once just to see if there is a difference if i really didn't like all the suction and stuff like that um I would just say when you're doing it, I don't know if this is actually what you need to be doing, but I have put lube in so it can slide in. Um, otherwise it's kind of hard to throw in there. But yeah, that's the purpose of this insert. And like it says, you can cut it um, if you realize you don't need all of it, you know, in there. So yeah, that was everything I had to unpack with you guys or unbox with you guys um i absolutely love 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 this brand like i said i had utilized these products since october and strictly only these products and that was on my own accord they didn't ask me to do all that i did that because once i got mine i was like i literally do not need any other brand product or prosthetic this suited and fulfilled my needs um additionally i had a friend um who's been using prosthetics long before i have um because i you know initially i never used prosthetics i didn't i didn't believe in this could bring in such validation or feeling so i didn't utilize it um but then one day i had asked him after my last couple of prosthetics that didn't work out he was like oh you got to do gender cat no no questions you got to do gender cat and i was like why right, fine um and the prices, again, like I'm low income. The price was a little steep for me, um, but they do have those payment plans. And I can't thank that enough for just that foresight into actually understanding people's real life situations. Um, and yeah, it's been history ever since. I definitely vet this company. I definitely believe in their mission statement. I definitely believe that they are for the consumer. Um, and who knows it better than an actual person that undergoes the same dysphoric struggles as us um 
yeah. So, in conclusion, Gender Cat, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you guys um, helping me with this little review. I'm beyond satisfied. I'm beyond content. I love what y'all do. And thank you guys all for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Please hit me up in my DMs. I will always answer as much as possible. And, and I will always answer as accurately as I can possible. Um, yeah, I love you guys and see you soon. Deuces. Oh, I also want to uh, let y'all know that, um, and this is a little bit of malpractice. Um, I should probably be taking more care of my stuff, but I think after the video that one of the prosthetics has like these lines on them, y'all might be like, what the hell is that? Um, that's just from my harness um, because I neglect it a little bit by keeping it on all the time, like the harness O-ring on it all the time. So that's what that little indentation is. Um, it bounces back. It's just that this is gonna be here for a little bit just because I left it on for so long. <laughs> but no worries, that's me. <laughs>